I talk to June all the time, who yes. is so sweet and so nice. Nice people keeping each other company. That's the idea behind lifting hearts with the arts. High school students connecting with lonely senior citizens virtually. Our volunteers sing to residents, play music to them, or even just have a conversation every week. Maya is a rising sophomore at Walter Payton College Prep. She started the organization after seeing how the pandemic affected her grandparents. Their anniversary was coming up and my family and I, we couldn't go visit them. And so I just called them every day and then we started doing more video calls. And after noticing how much joy they got from those video calls with me and my sister, I thought, why not spread that same joy to other seniors and others in more isolated settings? So now the high school students connect virtually every week with residents of assisted care facilities, sharing their love of the arts with residents like Nancy. You were our first person who tried the painting lessons, and I just wanted to see how it's going. Do you like it? Well, well I like it, but I'm not very good at it. But I'll, I'm, I'm going to keep trying. And that's the idea, trying something new and learning from each other. And we have a jukebox, so they usually have that on during the day. I've definitely learned a lot about 70s, 60s, and 50s music, and now I'm a huge fan. I always used to listen to recent music, but now I love, like, the 70s hits. You like our old folks' music now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and they say this is just the beginning. I've really enjoyed, you know, making these new friendships with residents, and even after COVID, even after things return slightly back to normal, we're really excited to meet all the residents in person and to still um, continue our friendships with them. Yes, this is so kind of you girls to be willing to talk to us, and I do enjoy it. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.